what is up everybody it is alex from heavy new york calling from the quarantine zone again and this time we are here with lorene and lohima thank you so much for being here it's great to be able to talk with you both today thank you so much yeah. thank, thank you for having us yeah it's an honor to have you here this new album uh the reckoning is really really great and it was great to now get uh, another uh compilation album that you were both featured on uh recently i just l was listening to magnus carlson's heart healer album that you were both featured on but now you're working together for this album how did uh the reckoning sort of come to be was this something that you've always planned on doing or was this sort of like a spur of the moment idea this was in mind <laughs> like, <Yes. laughs> in our subconscious it has been for years because we both have been dreaming about collaborating together so this was a dream come true for both of us and we have been following each other like secretly for years mm -hmm. and admiring each other <laughs> and talking yes alert. <laughs> yes <laughs> So this was definitely a dream come true for both of us. And I guess, you know, because we get along so well, because, you know, it, this was just meant to be. We didn't even know each other in a personal level so much before we started collaborating with this album. So, so, but everything has gone like great. And we got the same kind of, uh, you know, humor, <laughs> humor and, and, you know, kind of uh, how we, how we see the world and what is the what are our our values are pretty much the same so it's like i've i've found my lost sister here <laughs> <laughs> yeah so sister so sister <laughs> yeah it was basically that was it we, we both had the same dream without knowing that the other one has the same dream and uh, uh then i called nora when the pandemic started because obviously the our calendars were cleared out from everything else so that kind of gave that um, kind of uh, opportunity. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it, it, that was the chance to do it because otherwise this would have been in, in some distant future as a thought still. But but uh, now I called Nora and asked if she wants to join and uh, and then we're here. <laughs> <laughs> that exactly. Is... Yeah, long story after... short. <laughs> <laughs> yes, after. She you called know, me and I said, of left. course. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Will you marry me? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe I have to think about this. Yeah, of course I do. Yeah. yeah. Do you think yeah. that The Reckoning is, this is just a one-off sort of album or can you see more albums coming from this collaboration in the future? We can see a lot of things. <laughs> yes. And we, we hope that we can continue to uh, collaborate together and uh, push this forward uh and uh, kind of continue the story and also also collaborate in in uh, doing live gigs that's one of our dreams dreams also so we just have yeah. to wait and see for the pandemic to clear out really to be able to do yeah. any uh, yeah and, and check our schedules <laughs> we have yeah. to check our schedules also because when this pandemic has has gone away then we have Smackbound on tour. Then we have Battle Beast on tour. We have all these tours going on, but we really yeah. want to make this happen that we can do, you know, some shows together also as Laura and Elohimo. The power duet, you know. So. Yes. Bring all three Kiki bands on the road. Other <laughs> <laughs> Bring all three bands on the road. I think that would work great. Yes. Yeah, that, yes, that, we that have been talking be around about that also. Like, yeah. like, like we we were just talking that maybe you know Smackbound could be the opener, and then Laura and Elohim could be the direct support, and then Battle Beast as a lead. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> that, so. I would yeah, definitely so we'll be both be show. exhausted in 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 the other gig. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Imagine doing that for fifty dates straight. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We would get so good stamina, you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah like, maybe it would, you know, yeah. Or, 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 then or, just, or we you know. would lose our voices and would yeah. be like, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's the other option. It, 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 it would be really tough to pull it off to do two shows in a row every day. 
you, you never know. Never say never. Yeah. You can prepare for it. You never know. You never, never know. say never. <laughs> yeah. Was the intention of this collaboration to maybe combine elements of SmackBound and Battle Beaston together, or were you both trying to step into vocal styles and lyrical ideas that maybe you've never uh, done before in your previous projects? I think the the plan was to steer away from SmackBound and Battle Beast and to do something different, do like, we really wanted to do like classic heavy metal and hard rock, which neither of our other bands are. Like, uh, they're not classic heavy metal or or hard rock there. Uh, they I have other, you know. I, yeah, I, so we wanted to go to the... I, I see. Yeah, yeah go ahead, Alex. <laughs> I see elements of hard rock and classic rock in both bands. I see it in the DNA. I just think it's more upfront with this. Because, again, I thought 2020, the Smack Band album, was really rock and roll, badass, in your face. And then with uh, Battle Beast on the No More Hollywood Endings, again, Endless Summer is like the long-lost 80s hit that we've never had before. <laughs> like, like that was on the same yeah. level of, like, every great song by heart, I thought. So. Yeah. 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 I, I, I think... I think the eighties eighties thing is in our DNA and yeah. and we don't even want to get rid of that, you know, totally. So. Yeah, it's, it's it's the golden age of, of, of the genre. We were we were born in the eighties, so yeah. <laughs> so so it's really really like um strong there, but 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 it wasn't our goal to to kind of bring these two bands together. We wanted to do something that stands on its own and to play around uh in, in, in a little bit more of to play around with these classic things uh a bit more or yeah. or kind of the way we went into this and and composing with my husband nino this song and she, because he's also, also has this, this very strong heavy metal uh uh, history, dark history of heavy metal. <laughs> so it was kind of clear what we were, what we would be writing together, what kind of music. So, so we really hit the spot with the with the classic '80s stuff, and, and not thinking about doing, like we didn't think about any bands or anything while we were composing, writing the songs. We just uh, kind of we just played around and did but of course we've listened to everything like we have our favorites from the 80s so in a way or another they are they are there always like what we love in music is always going to follow us whether we like it or not <laughs> yeah yeah so it yeah. so yeah you can hear it yeah i'm a 90s kid yeah so. and a singer <laughs> you're a 90s kid 93 93 are you yeah. young I'm not born in '93. Oh my god! '93. Yep. I'm okay. I'm in shock right now. <laughs> <laughs> We're I'm old. old. I'm old. Jack. <laughs> my my yeah, idea yeah. my yeah, idea yeah, but... my idea of classic rock is Linkin Park and My Chemical Romance. That's my idea of classic rock. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I, yeah. I, I think yeah, those are just yeah. great too. No. But yeah, yeah they I are. Wanted to they are. Yeah, I wanted to say about uh, you know the about the album uh, and uh, and us about us as singers in the album, and I think it was like we you know it it it's a combination combi co combining our forces you know as heavy metal singers and singers overall. We have the same you know this is the weird thing. Uh, we both have the similar idols. You know, like we both love Whitney Houston, and we both have, uh, you know, since we were four years old, we knew we wanted to be artists. So this is the weirdest thing that you know. I I read about her history, like from her uh, websites, and I was like, how is this possible that that she has like same life <laughs> as I do? <laughs> She's yeah. a different yeah. person. Yeah, and I'm like. <laughs> This never happens. It's like I'm just I'm still, you know, in kind of amazed about this and and I totally I'm like super happy and I feel so blessed that I can, you know, be friends with you Netta and, and you know Yeah, me too. I love you. 
I love you. It's really, it's really great. Oh my God. This is the rock and roll album of friendship. I think that's the best way to describe it. This is the sound of friendship uh, expressed through rock and roll. And that's how I get through this because this is, I feel like this is the listen. Yeah. This album is very much the listen that was needed because it had a lot of fun behind it. It had a lot of optimism. It had a lot of positive energy. Anybody who wants to say that rock and heavy metal is all about negativity, I think that this album immediately proves that assumption wrong. One thing I want to know about you collaborating together is because I think you both have very distinct voices as well. Like I do see a lot of differences between Smackbound and Battle Beast. But when it comes to maybe writing the lyrics together or tracking the vocals, do both of you kind of need to be in the same headspace or be in the same state of mind in order to make the song sound relatively consistent and make the song, you know, like work together? Or were you kind of allowing maybe different aspects of your life being combined into one? I, I felt like, uh, well, we went through the lyrics together, you know, like she wrote all the lyrics, but we, you know, we went through the lyrics beforehand and made sure that we both can stand behind the lyrics and the whole, you know, the songs. And, and I can definitely say that, uh, that everything that's in the album, it's totally reflecting also my, you know, view view of life and and so it was like uh you know the thing was that uh, we did our lead vocals uh, separately but then we did also you know together in the same booth <laughs> and it was the best time ever we were half of the time we were laughing our asses off and half of the time we were singing and you know goofing around so it was it was so much fun and and yeah and i'm so happy to hear that you say said that alex that that our positivity and our friendship you can hear hear that from the album and that that's also the purpose that people can hear that and definitely this is a, a an album full of love and empowerment and we want to share that to people yeah definitely and it was it wasn't really hard and it, it wasn't i think everything came came out really naturally so we didn't think about combining our voices that much um uh only thing we had to think about a little bit and that was uh that was kind of more my job because i i sang i let nora sang first and then i sang and i tried to follow nora's we talked like i was producing nora singing like sing it like this and and she followed my demo vocals uh but then then i followed in the in the final final track i followed nora's uh, kind of rhythm so so that's that was the only part where i had to make sure that because it's because if we are and we a lot of times on this album we are singing at the same time so it it has to be so that we are in the same rhythm otherwise it'll just mm -hmm. kind of crash and just be you know everywhere the whole thing it, the timing will be off very easily so that has to be like really strict and that that was the part where i had to concentrate uh so i i, I concentrated more on the timing the rhythm of, of every syllable and word uh, than the sound or anything because that comes kind of naturally and we sound mm -hmm. we, we sound like that. Do you <laughs> need to, natural. Yeah. We don't have to think about it. Yeah. Yeah. Did you need to like listen? So, yeah, to, I think it's more of these. Yeah. Did you need to like listen to the instrumentation like together to know who sings over what in a way? Like how do you decide who gets more of the spotlight here? We sing together here. Like how do you decide? Is it do you feel it in the instrumentation in a way or whoever just comes up with the better part first? <laughs> Well, I felt like, I felt like uh, that it went really naturally also, like what fitted in our mouth, you know, like, we, and we, we, together we went through the lyrics also about that, like, okay, should you do this or me, you know, and we discussed uh, through all the songs separately, and yeah. it was kind of, we wanted to make sure that in anything that comes out of our mouths, it fits and it's not yeah. like uh, something, you know, that's uncomfortable or anything like that. Yeah, but there really wasn't parts like that. It was like we could have done it 
any other way than we yeah. did. This was like it was it wasn't it just ended up like this. The the most important thing here also about uh like splitting the the lines and the lyrics was for me it was really important that it is an equal split of 50 50 on the album and in every song it was clear that we both sing and we sing the same amount and then if there is um there is a part um that just uh, leaves it uneven in a song then the other one will get more on the next song so if there's a c part that has you know one line that is, is uh, you know the other one gets one line more than the other one then we're gonna you know fix it in the next song <laughs> yeah we are like really equal here <laughs> yes <laughs> yes no competition <laughs> just you know embracing each other and you know that's the that's the thing yeah. Yeah, and and and, I, and and that's very evident through this album as well like and i think it's unique because i feel like to have distinct voices like i think Smackdown is a great band. I think Battle Beast is a great band. I never would have thought that like this collaboration would work so well because I thought that there was enough differences. I thought you had your own identities in a way. I, I kind of was curious though, do you think that working together and learning a lot about each other and you know stepping into uncharted ter ter territory maybe opened doors in the future on what you would bring to Battle Beast or what you would bring to Smackbound or are you trying to maybe leave this as a completely separate entity and maybe not really uh, bring anything into this uh, into your other projects? It's very hard to tell because it's it, it's more about uh, uh, this is more about the magic between the two of us so yeah. you can't really take anything away from it without the other being there so mm -hmm. so so in in that way no and and it's it was everything was so happened so naturally that we kind of i don't even know what what to take from here to anywhere like this was ours and 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 I, I haven't analyzed it in a way that what what's different about it. Of course, the music style for me is, in in my mind, it's hugely, hugely different, <laughs> even though it's probably is not. It's totally the same. <laughs> but in my head, like it's it's worlds apart from SmackDown. So so for this classic uh, heavy metal and hard rock. This, this is the way I wanted to sing it and I wouldn't sing the same way, the exact same way Smackbound songs but I don't even know what to take I don't know how differently or or similarly I've sang on this album than the others it, because everything happens just in the moment and uh, I concentrate always not in any kind of technical stuff at all but always I concentrate on the emotion and the sound so yeah. it it depends on the moment the second you're in so yeah. there's you know it's already yeah. gone by the time it, the yeah, mind is finished it's, yeah yeah and i think it's good to you know have this as a separate thing because uh you know we have the good things you know going on we both have our other bands but this is something different and we want to you know do do this in our way so to say so yeah so yeah and as somebody so yeah i mean <laughs> well because the other thing is i I've, i have yet to see smackbound live and i hope that changes when this godforsaken pandemic is behind us but uh i've seen mm -hmm. uh i've seen battle beast before and i know like there's a lot of imagery that goes on stage i almost feel like in battle beast you almost like I don't, for lack of better term analogy maybe like portray a character sort of like in battle beast the way when i see you live and stuff so it almost seems like that too with this album that it's very raw and it's very upfront. like i feel like if people really want to know who you both are on a personal level and know who you are on a very raw level i think that really that this collaboration yeah. is a good representation of that not to discredit the other projects but i almost feel like yeah. that you yeah. know that you know you know when i listen to battle beast or smackdown it really is like power lifting it almost kind of puts me into like a fantasy sort of oriented element whereas for uh for this collaboration i feel like it's very raw and it's very like in your face and very uh a great soundtrack to the positive aspects of reality yeah i think that's that's really great well to hear 
Yeah, yeah we because this album is very honest and it's you know like I said the reckoning it's the reckoning with yourself it's the reckoning you know looking in the mirror and facing yourself and and what you have done what you haven't done what you're gonna do in the future and we try to empower people here you know in a in a kind of in a really warm, loving way, but kicking everyone's ass at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Well, you'll definitely be doing that. Exactly. I could, I, you're both, you both have a lot of experience kicking people's asses with your previous bands, and now you're going to kick more ass with this one. So. <laughs> yeah, we love some ass kicking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but we do it lovingly, though. <laughs> yeah. that, that, we embrace you all. <laughs> that, should be, yeah. that should be this band's slogan. We love kicking ass, but we do it love we do it lovingly. <laughs> yeah. Kick That's kicking true. ass with love. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh before we go, I want to thank you both so much for your time today and for such a great discussion. I really cannot wait for the rest of the world to hear this album. It's coming out July 9th via Frontiers. Is there just uh, anything else that you would like to promote for the release of the Lorene Lohimo uh collaboration with the reckoning like a maybe like a live stream performance to maybe hold people over while uh, we wait for this to take out on the road or anything else well of course i always want to say that do your pre-order <laughs> go, <laughs> yeah. go to our websites go to our social media and get your album you know the pre-order order and then you will get it you know on time before anyone else that's what i want to yeah. say i really uh, if you if you haven't fo uh, if you still don't follow us now it's your time because you know we post cool stuff there we still got you know music video coming up and you know cool stuff coming up and we just want to find our fans right now well, yeah and that's that's the support we need that people follow us and listen to the music watch the videos because that is that is the way they decide the future of our live shows basically yeah because exactly. it's it's that popularity that shows to whoever is booking us so if if, yeah. if you want to see us live listen to our our songs and videos and follow us so so that will help a big deal and pre-order yes yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. and, and take care of yourself and listen to good music whatever music it is yeah. and, and yeah and, and bring try to bring be happy to and peaceful Bring this to New York City. We I gotta see this collaboration in New York City. There's a stage at St. Yeah, Vitus. It's so awesome. Yeah, we welcome you both. That that would kick ass. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. Especially yes, with a bunch. We hope of, that it will happen. Yeah, especially with a bunch of hardcore shows happening in the park now. It's kind of like a new thing in New York City. So. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Oh, we we have to get into that. Yeah, that that would be. Cool. Yeah, if any a booking agency can hear us right now, you know, you know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Contact us. Us. Yeah. Via uh, modern I'll be I'll be contacting <laughs> yeah. our parks and recreational services right after this interview to make to make to book you Yay. guys. Yay. <laughs> book you guys. Great. In. Thank you so much. Thanks, Alex. But thank you so much. Everybody, we are here with Lor uh, Lohimo and Loreni. This is Alex from Heavy New York, and we will see you next time.